what is up people so today i wanted to bring to you this thing uh, so the new indian express kerala uh, has released this video where this lady she's actually a film actress from kerala her name is lena you can see it right there in the title and uh, she says many things that are clearly crazy in this whole video and uh, the press that's interviewing her this is a press meet people don't really question the crazy claim she's making and this video has ended up going uh, a little viral many people have sent it to me on instagram obviously this video is 25 minutes long i'm not gonna play the entire video so i have a bunch of uh, clips of that original video this one posted by wasim a popular account from bangalore uh, let's just watch this now i must say that some of this is in malayalam it's mostly in english but a small portion of this she says malayalam in between so whenever there's any malayalam i translate it and you will notice the amount of words are in in all of what she says you are the multi dimensional everything that ever existed or will exist or exists at all because actually nothing exists all of that exists inside the simulation called the fourth dimension called the mind and the mind is not here this thing is connecting to the mind the mind is one dimension in which all the entire universe and all the multiverses you can say now multiverse നിങ്ങൾ പറയുന്ന യൂണിവേഴ്സ് അല്ല ഞാൻ പറയുന്ന യൂണിവേഴ്സ് അതല്ല ഈ കുട്ടി പറയുന്ന യൂണിവേഴ്സ് വാട്ട് ഹി വെൻ ഹി തിങ്സ് ദ യൂണിവേഴ്സ് ഹി ഹാസ് yeah she in malayalam she is just saying what i mean by universe is not what you mean what she means etc etc she will say this in english to it a different picture of the universe my world is not your world you don't live in my world now we are sharing a particular common world so this is the multiverse it is the mind so finally at the end of the, the thing is when someone like sadguru says the same thing the same bunch of words are like using many of this many of the same words the same thing or a similar thing people think he's great he's saying something profound he gains lot of lots of followers but this lady i don't want to be disrespectful but uh, she seems like she has some mental disorder again no disrespect but this kind of word salad is what i'm looking at and uh, i think it's worth playing this portion of uh, the original video where she actually says she has had psychiatric help for things like this just watch time because it's just, it will get complicated actually simple sanana ee mind nu orna realm nan parnille maya mind thanne aanu time time yeah she saying mind is time how crazy is this i i know in some crazy way this probably makes sense to her own mind but the fact is this doesn't correspond to anything that anyone else can experience this experience is unique to herself her own self i would call this some kind of mental disorder Uh, and this definitely needs psychiatric help and she says something here that i wanted you to listen ee mind nu orna realm nan parnille maya mind thanne aanu time time thanne aanu mind time alla mukyam timing aanu mukyam that's where that when am i nalla question varuna when am i really she saying it's not time that's important but timing is what is important and that is the answer to that question when am i she's talking about a bunch of questions in the whole video you can go and check out the original video but it's a bunch of senseless nonsense but yeah when am i doing the right thing when being at the right place at the right time nu nammal parayille adu edu time adu right place at the right time 12 mani aano she saying when people say being in the right place at the right time that phrase what does it mean what time do they mean what time is the right time is it 12 o'clock alla it's a timing that timing has to be so correct nani parayna vartanam 20 kollam munbu parnappo nere psychiatrist psychiatrist te eduthu kondu or injection kitti bodham poi okay what she said right there in malayalam was that 20 years ago when she said this exact same thing she was taken to a psychiatry ward and given some injection and she lost consciousness that's literally what she said this is a person who for saying things like these 
she's had uh, psychiatric help before and now when she says the exact same thing people laud her as some messenger that has something profound to say and if you watch this entire video uh, the press people who ask her questions don't really skeptically question her like what she says gets a free pass people freely believe everything she says people are not counter questioning her at all like it's i think it's because of the society we grew up in the kind of beliefs we grew up with a lot of that uh, beliefs and ideas of you know the mind the soul the uh, the eternal soul that we all leave this body and go join and then there's rebirth there's another life uh, speaking of which she speaks about her past life in which she was a buddhist monk wait i'll show you the thumbnail for this this was the thumbnail wait i was a buddhist monk in my past life she says that in this video and yeah you can guess what's happening uh, but yeah uh, i i'm personally i don't think there's any need to debunk any of this this is so obviously just a word salad uh, it's not worth a deeper analysis i'll show you something posted on my reddit uh, this person has compared her to uh, this guy nitya you are the multi dimensional everything that ever existed or will exist or exists at all because actually nothing exists all of that exists inside the simulation called the fourth dimension called the mind and the mind is not here this thing is connecting to the mind yeah, the mind is one dimension thing, right? in which it's the same thing i showed you before but i'm i'm telling you this in some way makes sense to her head in a normal setting it's going to be very hard to convince someone else that you're not uh, having some kind of psychotic episode uh but uh, this is india we grow up with such beliefs all the time people readily accept when people say things like this i will find that part where she is talking about a uh, past life so this is that part check this out i remember a lot of my past lives directly i just spontaneously remember in the ഒരുപാട് ലൈഫ് ടൈംസ് ഉണ്ട് ജന്മങ്ങൾ സോ ഷീസ് ആസ്കിംഗ് വോട്ട് യു റിമെമ്പർ ആൻഡ് ഷീസ് റിപ്ലൈങ് ദർ ആർ മെനി ലൈഫ് ടൈംസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ റിമെമ്പർ സോ യു വിൽ സീ ദാറ്റ് ഇതിനൊരു കോമൺ തീം ഉണ്ട് അല്ലാതെ ഇത്രയും അറിവ് എനിക്ക് പെട്ടെന്ന് പൊട്ടി മുളച്ച് ഉണ്ടാവില്ല ഷീ സിങ് ദസ് നോ വേ ദാറ്റ് ഐ വുഡ് ഹാവ് സോ മച്ച് നോളജ് ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് നോവർ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ലോങ് ഓൺ ഗോയിങ് പ്രോസസ് Last Jan, I was a Buddhist. The reporter just asked, uh, what was your last life? Last Jan, I was a Buddhist monk. I was a Buddhist monk and I died at the age of 63. And that is why I felt that spontaneous call to go to the Himalayas because I was in Tibet and I died there. Tibet-Nepal border. So I remember the entire lifetime. So I felt like going there. And that's why I was feeling like shaving my hair off. you will see the logical connection to it ingane nokkiyale appo angane njan parnja seriyavilla because it's not so linear if an ee chodyam choikkumbo you feel like ee life adu kaiyna adutha life it train okay i think if we watch the entire thing we just gonna watch the whole video but uh, yeah check out the video that's basically it uh, when someone like sadguru says same or similar things we applaud him but uh, this is basically what it is the entire press conference by the way is happening because apparently she has written a book and she is releasing that that's what the press conference is for these are all empirical claims she is making all she has to do to back up any of what she is claiming is show evidence instead she has written a book and uh, we are supposed to read it right Okay yeah well let me know what you think about this i will uh, see you in the next one bye bye